So the person who want to call the people, and especially the women, because to the women, if those sisters want to call some sisters to wear a hijab, eh? because sometimes there are sisters, they just took shahada, they may come in not even a veil on them. They may come in a jeans and a t-shirt and everything, you know. And now, this happened back where we came from in the East Coast, because a lot of women, they, they, uh, when they just took shahada, they complain to us from questions, from phone calls, whatever. They said that the Salafi, yes, I want the sisters here, inshallah ta'ala. I know that the people down south, they kind of like more relaxed, alhamdulillah. Huh? Tayyip? But we need to say what we have to say. That those sisters, they complain, they said this Salafi, yes, when we go to the masjid, they look at us in a bad way. They talk bad about us and how we're not uh, wearing the niqab and we're not wearing black. And all this. Some women they cry. Huh? Some sisters they even were so mean, they push sister and women, they tell them, don't come over here anymore. Don't come in this machine. This machine is Salafi. That shit. If you're gonna come with a Madonna t shirt like that, the woman don't know nothing, huh? Teach her. Yeah, it's happening. No, it's happening. That's real. I'm not gonna swear on it, but it's real. It is actually happening. Women told us that they told them, this is a Salafi masjid. Who you think yourself uh, in a gas station, on a bus station, coming like that? Like that woman choose to come like that. That woman just took shahada. If she only asked her, hold on here, sister, i never seen you before. Uh, you're new? Yeah, I just took shahada, alhamdulillah. And you will see in her face that she's all nervous and anxious and, and she don't feel comfortable. You gotta make her comfortable. Tell her, don't worry sister. I was, if you only know the first time I came to the mission what I was wearing, <laughs> it was like, even if she didn't was wearing that, just to make her feel comfortable. You know what? I got, in my purse right here, here you go, I got something, inshallah. Put this on, inshallah, ta'ala. Huh? Well, you know what? I got something for you, inshallah. Give me your phone number. Huh? I'm gonna, inshallah, drop something for you. Huh? But where are we from this khwan, ya khwan? Huh? Hey, she's not a Salafi. She's just become a Muslim. She don't know nothing about the Salafi, nothing. Now she's gonna go crying outside. She's gonna be on a bus or something. Get with a tablighiya. <laughs> huh? Or a Sophia. <laughs> and said to her, I will make you cry. <laughs> Some Muslim girls and, and this and they 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 repel me away with the masjid. Where is it? What's the address? Ah, she gave give her the address. She just said, Oh that masjid, they evil. I don't go there. I'm a Muslim, I've been a Muslim, I don't go because I know the sisters, they ain't about nothing, they harsh and hard, they think they huh? Come with me. You hungry? Yeah, no, not really. Yeah, come with me. I give her some curry chicken and all. <laughs> <laughs> no. huh? The woman knows you're gonna change her diet. <laughs> Just because that woman was nice to her. We are more worthy of this kindness, ya khwan ya khawa. This is not entertainment. But, we are more worthy to step to the plate and be kind and nice to the people, ya khwan ya khawa. How then let the people of Bid'ah snatch people away from us? Let the people of Bid'ah snatch people. Allah sent people to us and we repel them away and then they feel prey and victim to the people of Bid'ah and innovation. We have a best example today. The brother Omar from Kenya. That he came and he took shahada, alhamdulillah. He just came. He didn't come with no Muslims. He was searching for the truth. Huh? And then somebody told him, yeah, there is some conference in university. And go. He came. Who brought him in here? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided him. He came to here, he listens to the speech of the shaykh. Right after that he came, Allah still guiding him, still putting him on the right path. Yeah, uh, I got a question. I looked at him, I, I could have said that he's a Muslim, because we see a Muslim looking like him, many times. I said, yeah, mashallah. Go ahead, ya akhi. He said, yeah, that, uh, mashallah, that he's interested in Islam, and what, what kind of books, he said, you advise that he can read, so he can know more about Islam. I said, come here, sit with me, right here, mashallah. So he sits, talk to him nicely, kindly, alhamdulillah. I didn't offer him no curry chicken or nothing. 
In matter of fact, you didn't, I didn't know about that rice and that chicken. <laughs> I was coming here. You know, right? You didn't know, right, Mujahid? I didn't know, right? I didn't know. All right? We didn't know actually about that. But Alhamdulillah, Qaddar, there wasn't curry chicken anyway. No. Okay, Alhamdulillah. It was rice though. It was a basmati too. Tayyib. <laughs> huh? And then I said to him, listen, man, you want you, we're going to give you these books. But once you take shahada, inshallah, be Muslim, inshallah, and then, hey, then study. It's like, yeah, okay. So he took shahada.